Fortunately, Dan Flynn and his team have some allies out there who are spreading the word about mislabeled olive oil. Go on a second date with your olive oil. First date is the front label. The guy shows up and he's got a great car and he's dressed really well. The front label means nothing. Second date, a lot of red flags come up. That's when you turn the bottle and you look at the back label. Look for the harvest date in order to know that that olive oil is fresh. Olive oil is produced in few hours. So the harvest date is the production date. I'm a professional taster. I taste food for a living. Isn't that a great job? I taste olive oil for the California Olive Oil Council, which is an organization based in Berkeley that can actually guarantee and certify extra virginity of olive oil. So we're at the State Fair, the California State Fair. We decided to open a olive oil tasting bar, extra virgin olive oil tasting bar at the fairgrounds and we're here to educate consumers on quality standards and to have them taste olive oil. This is a mild olive oil? Yes, it's mild. Well, you have to start with the mild. So what I teach them is to taste looking for defect. An olive oil that is defective, it's not an extra virgin olive oil. Don't drink it. Just smell it first. The fat can go from rancidity to fastiness. If I tell you, for instance, rancidity is the smell of wax or candles. Fastiness is the smell of pig uh, farm or uh, dirty gym clothes. That kind of mm, sparkles something in your imagination. If you can smell anything like that in the olive oil, that means that in olive oil, it's not of high quality, it's not extra virgin, and doesn't have a health benefit for you. I'm not hungry anymore. Dirty saw. You know the difference, and the reaction is, oh yes, you're right, I can really smell it, or I can really taste it, and wow, this is a world that I had no idea. Please teach me more. Take this and smell it. I'm working on the next generation. I teach kids, they are the best. They're just fascinated by everything and anything. I think what makes olive oil so interesting, it's what makes wine so interesting. You have about 500 varieties of olives in the world, and they're all very different. And you can have blends, very much like wine. So when you have an olive oil that tastes buttery, nutty, or uh, tomato leaves, that makes a difference in what you're cooking. Sit down, be in the moment, be aware when we eat and taste everything and anything. And olive oil is just part of that experience <laughs> of cooking together with family, with friends. That's all I want.